is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. My primary purpose of coming to Colombo at this time is to express India's solidarity with Sri Lanka during these difficult moments. As you all <laughs>
in a developing situation that was beginning to cause concern, the same sentiment reasserted itself. We felt strongly that Sri Lanka's creditors must take proactive steps to facilitate its recovery. India decided not to wait on others, but to do what we believe is right. We extended financing assurances to the IMF to clear the way for Sri Lanka to move forward. Our expectation is that this will not only strengthen Sri Lanka's position, but ensure that all bilateral creditors are dealt with equally. While doing that, we also know that Sri Lanka's pathway is one of a strong economic recovery propelled by greater investments. Here too, I have a clear message that I will be sharing with the business community. India will encourage greater investments in the Sri Lankan economy, especially in core areas like energy, tourism, and infrastructure. We count on the government of Sri Lanka to provide a more business-friendly environment to create a powerful pull factor. I'm confident that the gravity of the situation is realized by policymakers here. Energy security is today one of Sri Lanka's most serious challenges. A search for solutions must necessarily encompass the larger region. Only then will Sri Lanka get the full benefit of scale. This country has enormous renewable energy potential that can, became, that can become a sustainable source of revenue. It has the capability as well for Trincomalee to emerge as an energy hub. In its support for Sri Lanka, India is prepared to be a reliable partner on such initiatives. We have today agreed in principle on a renewable energy framework that would take this cooperation forward. Tourism is the lifeblood of the Sri Lankan economy. I note that Indian tourists are expressing their positive sentiments for Sri Lanka in a very, very practical manner by coming here. But there are many more steps we can take to make this sustainable. Strengthening connectivity and promoting travel is therefore a very high priority for all of us. Definitely, encouraging Indian students, uh, Indian tourists to make rupee payments and utilize the UPI would be most helpful in this regard. In a turbulent world, it is essential that India and Sri Lanka steady their trade. The use of rupee settlement for trade is obviously in our mutual interest. Friends, India has always supported both the political and economic stability of Sri Lanka. The president briefed me on the question of political devolution and his thinking. I shared with him our considered view that the full implementation of the 13th Amendment and early conduct of provincial elections are critical in this regard. Durable efforts towards reconciliation are in the interests of all sections in Sri Lanka. I also spoke of the need to pay special attention to the requirements of the Indian origin Tamil community. I handed over to uh, I handed over uh, Pr Prime Minister Narendra Modi's invitation to President Ranil Vikramasinghe to visit India at an early date to discuss how our partnership can facilitate Sri Lanka's strong recovery. I once again thank the President for receiving me. Uh, I would like to underline that India is a reliable neighbor, a trustworthy partner, one who is prepared to go the extra mile when Sri Lanka feels the need. My presence here today is a statement about Prime Minister Modi's commitment to neighborhood first. We will stand by Sri Lanka in this hour of need and are confident that Sri Lanka will overcome the challenges that it currently faces. Thank you. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.